Hi, I'm Rabbi Ferency, wishing you a good Shabbos from my office. I hope you receive this before you begin Shabbat at your home, lighting candles and making Kiddush with your family and loved ones. This week, there are some exciting new developments. We'll be having Kabbalat Shabbat with Jack Love at 6.30 every Friday. You can see the links, phone numbers, and Zoom information in the attached email. Likewise, I want to make sure that everyone knows we've begun a phone tree. I'm asking every family to reach out to every other family, or at least two families, each week, just to check in. Don't need to have long conversations, don't need to say anything, in fact, but just to make sure we're all safe and secure and accounted for, and if there are any problems, that those are noted and taken care of from me and the synagogue. This week we read Parshat Tzav, a couple of chapters into the book of Leviticus, that begins with the word Mukta, right in the first or second verse, and the word Mukta begins with the letter Mem in Hebrew, the sound that makes an M sound. And that Mem, in one of those unusual writings in the Torah, in the scripture, in the scroll, is written small. We're told that Mukta, a pyre, a, a burning embers that are kept for sacrifices, should be small and understated in our soul and maintained throughout generations. What are you doing to keep the home fires burning? How are you keeping yourself and your family and loved ones and your home safe, secure, strong, beyond social isolation and washing your hands quite a bit? What are you doing to keep your spirit strong? Are you connecting with this synagogue and others, Jewish and non-Jewish friends? Are you reading texts of spiritual value? Are you getting outside? Are you resting? Are you exercising? Are you eating healthy? We're in it together for the long haul. We'll be isolated and separated for at least weeks, if not months more. And I hope in this time you take care of yourselves because I can't be there. We can't be there to take care of each other in the same way as we usually are. So rest, get outside, eat a healthy meal, spend time with loved ones, do a Zoom conference with your extended family, play a board game with your kids, toss a ball with your dog, read something spiritual, the Torah, the Talmud, writing by a favorite rabbi or even a Buddhist monk. Keep your mind, your soul, your body, and your conscience active. Keep that mukta, that pyre, that flame burning, even in an understated way in your own home so that you don't go mad in all of this. Stay strong, wash your hands, be healthy, and let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Again, we'll have that phone tree running, and we'll have Kabbalat Shabbat starting tonight at 6.30. All that information is in the attached email. God bless.